behind Brass Sound is it's, uh, it's a big science fantasy. And it's um, from basically it's about a, a giant life size clockwork solar system. And at the heart is a uh, the Brass Sun of the title. And then connected by all the different like, little spars, all the different worlds. Uh, in a world in the middle of that, was gas giants and you name it. And uh, the, the, the sun is starting to wind down and the arms at the uh, furthest juncture are kind of like slowing down and starting to light up. And there's a, a, a girl who lives with her grandfather, who's this kind of like discredited scientist, kind of, you know, this heretic kind of thing, uh, who basically gives her the clues of, to find the key that she needs to restart the sun, so she's like sent on this epic quest. And uh, all the parts of the key are actually broken up and scattered over the different worlds, of the, uh, of the, of the, the wheel of worlds, they call it. Um, and so she has to travel from world to world collecting pieces of the key, but um, there's been a war millennia ago, and so a lot of the worlds don't believe this life exists on other worlds. And so uh, she has to kind of negotiate how to travel from world to world, because there's a, a transit system called the rails that connects the, the planets to the, the sun and then to each other. So she has to like negotiate with this uh, monastic order called the prime numbers. I've got a young daughter who's six, and I've got another one who's 24, and, and basically I kind of wanted something that's uh, they would like to read that, like, so, you know, she's you know, she's she's not leggy and busty, but she's kind of like, she's a scrapper. She's a, like, a little terrier of a person. She's tenacious, and that I kind of wanted to um, show that you don't have to be a boy to do those things. You know that you can. She, she you know she fist fights and she's she's smart and she's but and she's wrong and she's grumpy and she's and she's all those. She's just a person. And then it was just like, well, there's no excuse why she can't be a girl. Why she can't. And what we've actually started, she, I, I said to Ian, um, I don't want, we don't want her to be conventionally attractive. She's quite plain, but as the story goes on, and she's old, she gets older, she matures, and so, and so you know, she actually kind of comes into her own. She, you actually see her develop, you know, become smarter and uh, have current faith in herself, and and you actually see that in her character that she kind of um, she she carries herself and the story a lot more than he's, he's like he, his design sense is great, and um, and he just comes up with stuff. I mean. Uh, I'll say like the robots look like Henry Moore statues in one and he'll come up with these huge colossal things and he's like oh, that's so cool and then there's another lot of robots that look like Fauna City sculptures and he's done them like with like these kind of tribal mass and they just look like you know whatever I write he kind of ramps it up you know by you know, 50 100% and he's just like oh, that's really cool and um, and I kind of bear in mind now where I do like five or six panel pages if I know there's going to be something like that I'll kind of cut it back to four to five, like a smaller panel. So I give him shoulder room to do stuff with uh, image and lots of other companies doing you know, sci-fi. It kind of fits into that niche quite nicely. And also, again, you know, having a female central character, again, it, it, it opens up the appeal. Um, and it's like, you know, the Brass Sun is like science fantasy, and I think there's a great deal uh, of a like, science fantasy kind of thing out there. Um, and so it's, it, it's, it's different, and I think the, the, the different is good. Um, and, but I'm, I'm, I'm really kind of privileged that you've kind of picked that uh, Bastion's been picked to, to go and so I'm really seeing how it goes. There's been a lot of, um, of, of good feedback so far from just seeing the, the, the big one page I had in previews. A lot of people have been in touch and said, yeah, what's this one? When, when, when did you do this? Oh, it's been 2008 for two series. So, and a lot of American people I know who like, haven't been able to get it, uh, who can't, well, you know, who, who get 2008 sporadically from where they're, they're now it's an American series, they're really kind of like, ah, oh, we're going to get this. So it's, it's, it's a really positive feel. Uh, it's a good story. Looks brilliant, um, and it's just a great rip-roaring kind of rollicking adventure. Um, and it's I think when you, know, you read the first few chapters, and you just get pulled in. And um, I, I think then you know, once you're in, you're in. Um, and it's just it's just a good story, if I, if I may say so myself, quite immodestly. <laughs>